Is it good to go whenever? Yeah, it's just filming now, so I'll just crop it. It's filming now? <laughs> hey guys, we're here in Leeds with my man Niall. You'll know Niall from the Stronger Bodyweight Workout Series 2. He played a huge part in developing the program and giving us all the exercises that we needed to smash through and progress, get insane strength gains through to achieving our goals. Now, what we're doing here today, which is my first time seeing Niall, oh my God, <laughs> here he is. Damn it, you are. And what we're doing today, <laughs> I was thinking, I actually have an injury at the moment in my arm and it's preventing me from doing handstands. Now, you can't beat around the bush. Handstands are, I think, and I'm sure Niall would agree, an essential prerequisite to have to achieve the planche. But I really want to train planche, but I can't handstand. So we're going to do some exercises today. We're going beginner through to advanced. Definitely, yeah. Exercises to work towards the planche that exclude the handstand. Now, don't think you're getting away with it, because I know there's a lot of people out there that want to train for the planche and want to try work around not knowing how to do a handstand. This is just some tips to include along the way. I still want you to try in the handstand. It's so essential for getting the planche, but these today, if you're injured or the handstand's a little bit tricky for you, incorporate these into your training and it will help you achieve the planche that much quicker, that much more efficiently. Let's do it. As a very, very beginner, the key position for, for the planche is the front support. So we all know the front support. Uh, the press up position uh, we get in generally you know, th this has to be strong this has to be important chest in core tight body in a straight line none of hips down no chest sticking out I wants to be sucked in glutes activated and then basically the, the sort of the first stages and the, the prerequisite of, a, of learning a planche is leaning over that front support so when you're in a planche you know you're activating the pex muscles, the fronts of the deltoids and the biceps and you're going to be in a lean forward position so if your front support is shoulders over hands the first stage I would endeavour to do is get that let our shoulders lean forward a little bit we can do rocks, we can just do holes we can do slides with the feet which is really really good one so like the first sort of stages of learning a planche will be in the tuck position so we go tuck top planche then we go shadow planche then we go straight top planche so tuck tuck is really important and one of the first important exercises you can do this on the parallettes as well is feet slides absolutely incredible exercise it doesn't matter whether you're on parallettes or on the floor another key key point is the position of your hands so you might press up with your hands facing forwards now starting to lean lean over your wrist that's going to put lots and lots of pressure in your wrist you might feel pain the, generally the position of the planche is not done like this so I would first of all endeavour to turn your hands facing sideways because you're going to put less pressure on your wrist you, you're going to feel it much much less you know the extension is not there you're able to activate your biceps more the front of your shoulders more so that's really important or you could also turn them fully backwards which is another position for the planche which is now going to definitely activate your pecs more so side view we're going to go more front of the shoulders fully what would you call that like that yeah your arm's the, broken the, mate the, <laughs> it's out so we go neutral position of the hands you're going to work more the front of your shoulder supinated you're going to work more the pec and the bicep so i think endeavouring to start with working out where you're most comfortable and what muscles you are stronger in yeah would you kind of say this would be i mean facing forward is probably going to be the most comfortable for a complete beginner i'd say neutral starting here um, but then when they actually start to get comfortable in front support and get some lean that's when they should turn or should they just start to turn i think from the i beginning? think that you, turning to neutral from the beginning is important because just even like there, that even there you're going to struggle to hold the planche in yeah. the in the it does put a lot of pressure and on your it puts wrist tons like and tons of pressure on your wrist so key tip first neutral and obviously if you have parallettes you're going to be in neutral anyway yeah you know what i mean so being in neutral on flat is pretty much your way of replicating being on parallettes exactly. if you don't have access to them exactly and then obviously you can turn to activate the, the pecs and the thing uh, pecs and the pecs and the biceps so another great exercise is now we're going to raising the feet so on a book feet on and this game we're going to be focusing just on the top position 
Now, as I said before, the position of your shoulders is really important. So to make this more challenging, we're going to lean over the shoulders. So that as an exercise itself, just rocking forwards and backwards. So even for me, I'm, I'm really, really feeling that. So I'd start with rocking as far as you can go. You know, your feet can be lower raised, that's quite high. Uh, so the lower the easier, even just off the floor, you know, with your, your toes pointed, just leaning forwards and backwards. So sort of three sets of 10 are gonna be a great starting point as a beginner. To make this more challenging, we can then go up to front support position, feet raised. So the legs are straight, and again we're just rocking forwards and backwards, preferably on something that your feet can slide. And then holding the position is fantastic. Mm. So you can see the tension in my body already. Yeah. Holding. Yeah, you want to be able to hold it. Yeah. So the rocking's great, you get into that position, you're working those muscles, but you have to make sure every single time you are training the planche, you are holding the position. You know, gymnastics is about holding three seconds, but it, essentially you're endeavouring to hold the planche. 5, 10, 15 seconds. So that that three seconds is more exactly. than enough. Exactly, yeah. And then starting through the stages, starting with the tuck position, it's going to shorten your lever. You know, it's much, much easier to hold the planche in that position because your body's very, very short. Your centre of mass is above your shoulders, whereas when we go in into the straight, the centre of mass moves back, which, in depth, which, allow, which means you have to lean the shoulders more forward. And then we're activating much more of the core, which we're going to get onto next. So, if I can interject, um, I noticed that Niall's using a really good combination of this nice smooth surface of the mushroom with his socks so he can slide into the plant without much friction. Um, not, I know that not everyone's going to have access to a mushroom, but a lot of you might have access to a gym ball or a Swiss ball. Would you say that's yeah, a, a perfect uh, substitution? Swiss ball, absolutely fantastic. And that it's even better than the mushroom um, because it moves. Because you're kind so of going to stay, side yeah, to side. stabilize the core even more, which is kind of the key in the planche, which we will now move on to talk about exercises for the core. Okay. And one other thing I wanted to ask was when you were doing the supinated, the neutral and the supinated, is that um, the supinated, is that a progression from the neutral or is that just another way of doing it? Because I do feel like that's a harder yes. position. Yes. I would say the supinated probably potentially is a progression. However, this through my gymnastics career and experience I've had is some individuals are stronger in that position because you're activating the chest, whereas okay. some are stronger in the neutral because it's using the front of the shoulders. So, so it might I think be good to experiment. Experimenting. To see what yeah, experimenting like is key, what feels right for you. Um, for me, the supinated position is harder. Like I'm feeling like you can see yeah. the strain of the bicep where it's yeah. there. I'm, I'm using the front of my shoulders. It feels much more solid. Yeah. But it's just different muscles and I think even doing both is gonna, I feel more challenging. Yeah, for me it's a lot harder as yeah, well. Exactly. You're isolating more the bicep and pec. This is kind of, when you're going into that position, this is barely, isn't yeah. really working as much. Whereas in there, you can use like a set of three muscles to yep. in like working together. So yeah, experimenting, but like doing both as well is, is gonna get you stronger. Yeah. So I wouldn't say, I'd say experiment, but I'd say train both. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's gonna develop up all, all aspects of your, of your upper body. So one of the, probably the most underrated aspect to a planche or to ring strength to a Maltese is the core. Um, everyone thinks it's just upper body, upper body, I train, 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 train. But I would say it's the other way around. If yeah. you can crack the core and you've got the core strength to hold your body out flat in sync with your upper body, you're gonna you're gonna be leaps ahead in the top planche. So very 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 simple exercise. You're just gonna go heel raises, back out heel raises. Now notice how Niall's not putting his chest onto the block. He's putting as much of his upper body off the block so that the pressure stays on to the lower body. Is that the technical term? I think you're actually so doing an easy variation that, that time. That was though, easy, yeah. yeah. So like I'll talk about the progression. So the heel drive itself uh, with legs together is very important. Focusing on squeezing the glutes, squeezing the lower back. You can start just holding the top position, uh, which is very, 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 very beginner. And then what also I like to do in the important position is your straddle position in the top line. So I'm going from the top out to the straddle. If you, if you try that yourself, Tyson, give that a go. You really feel the squeezing of the glutes. So we go in the top position. The legs as wide as possible. 
Yeah. So that alone. How challenging is that? Yeah, very challenging. My ass is tight. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and you feel you're feeling the activation in the glutes, which is yeah when you train planch, but this is a way to isolate the core the glutes and really build yeah. that strength. I feel like because it's cramping it means I don't train this Exactly, enough. exactly. So the next progression, which makes it more challenging, as I spoke to the guys before, we can tuck our body up all the way to the hips, so then we're just isolating the glutes. But to make this more challenging, you can almost get part, part of the lower part of your, your core off the edge of the book, so we're going to have to work even harder to lift the body. So I can endeavor I'll maybe start with my lower abs off the thing. Grab the thing. See how that section is actually off the book so we're having, we're having to work tons tons more the lower back which is again essential for the planche and we could go extreme as we can like I would endeavor to do this just with my chest on. That for me is so, so challenging. But it's something I do every day to try and develop my planche and my multis. So just having the chest on there so is the, the most advanced you can exactly, do, Exactly, the right? most advanced is just, just chest on. You held there, didn't you? You beast! <laughs> so you would be- like I'm pulling it towards me. Yeah. You would be so, so shocked at how actually difficult that, that is. And when you come to doing the actual top punch itself, you understand that those are the muscles we need, those are the muscles we work in, in sync with your upper body. Yeah, and that's so true to what Niall was saying, that when you train planche, a lot of people just think, and it is, it's about the lean, it's about strong chest, shoulders, and biceps, but when you first start, you're training in those tucked variations, and if your goal is a full planche or straddle, you're completely ignoring that core strength that starts when you start to lengthen out. Yeah. And if you train these positions and all this the whole time but not address your core outstretched, as soon as you start, you may have spent all this time working here but you're gonna feel so weak and helpless when you start to extend it. Yeah. And that's why these kinds of things are so, so important and so simple. So there's no reason not to incorporate it into your program. progression is in the tuck position and we go through back through back second progression is forward straddle forward straddle then we go straight well, ideally we're aiming for when we're doing the straight like to be flat at the front flat at the back so we go limp where we did so much as a kid, like every day. Yeah. So we could talk about how the first progress is obviously in the tuck, but then when we're rocking through, we're really activating the front of the car and that movement base is gonna help activate that, stabilize that. It's gonna really work. And then obviously, when you've worked on the car, you've done the straddle, you wanna slot the glutes out through, lock right. the glutes out. So it's dynamic, it's yeah, moving yeah. Well, you fast. can do both. It's like, it, 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 you, know, you can for control and hold, you can go tuck, hold, 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 you go. You know what I mean? Do you see a lot of benefit in doing it so fast? Um, yes. In the sense of, you know how really to get a strength skill it's good to spend as much time in the position as possible yeah, yeah. so do you see much benefit to doing something where you just for a split second shooting into it I think I think there's benefit in this because we're going fast but you're doing 10 15 reps yeah. so you're, you're exhausting the muscles and endurance yeah but the, the speed is in, in encouraging power and each and time you're trying to and force your body to hit the yeah exactly technique exactly every yeah. Time. so like it's, it's where I'm stinging I'm swinging to it on rings I'm locking in that's what the kind of thing you want the yeah, speed yeah. into that, that replicates position replicates those yeah. transitions on rings yeah, yeah I'll give it a go it's tough as well to fit your legs through yeah I was thinking that do you go to I'll see or just to um, just try whatever just try a couple of progressions first. Oh mate, we've got the exercise.
Yeah. I'll, I'll do that. It feels really good, actually. <laughs> yeah, I wish I'd worked that out in the Stronger program. <laughs> <laughs> so we go, not just to there, but... Yeah, out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's harder. Tuck in, tuck in, tuck in. Can we move this? It's hitting my feet. <laughs> Do it on key bars. When you've got nothing underneath you, but like yes. that's... But that makes how much, how much you have to strength. activate the core to get it through, do you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Whereas in the P bars, you just cheat, you just You could be a bit lazy yeah. through it. Okay, yep. And so the stuff you've showed us, they're all, um, oh, well, I should say as well, we did some conditioning in Niall's vlog, which was so simple, but really tough. And I can't help but think that couldn't not help you with going to the planche. When we were doing the Stronger series, I felt like there were, to my noob mind, a lot of the trunk work capacity. So the stuff that was like endurance yeah. core work. I felt like at the start, I couldn't understand how that was going to help for planche. But then after time, like after you've done it, for, to start to see the results, you can see how anything that is, you're engaging the core, you're exhausting it, whether it's through the trunk strength, like strength training, or through muscular endurance, it's like a holistic approach. Like in the end, it all comes together. And when you go for that full planche, so, like, it's you, almost you like really, a surprise. You, like, really, where did take, this you really take for granted how much you actually use it, don't you? So, like, I bet I can imagine when you first started in the programs, your abs hurt. Yeah, like, the burn, and I wasn't and good then, at it either. So exactly. That's why so, like, I also even felt... when you're doing the rest of the program and your abs are hurting, it's like, oh, actually, I use my abs mm. so much that I don't realize because, yeah. you know, and, and then building that strength, that capacity for gymnastics and for gymnastic specific movements is one of the keys mm. like, like, you, like you said even the even on the pommel descent when we were doing those in and outs because it keeps you strict i feel like i have a core pump yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> are you are you filming my core pump Aiden? <laughs> <laughs> i feel it <laughs> film it <laughs> yeah you can really feel it engage even from that so awesome exercise are, are they it for just working around there i know that what that's not it but <laughs> <laughs> is that the end of the video are yeah, we I'd say, like, yeah, I'd say like that's that's the sort of that's the sort of basis. And, and you can um, build in terms from all those different yeah, exercises. Yeah, you can you build up, build up. In terms of you know, I myself, I've developed a, a tuck top punch program. It should develop in you know my body bible uh, membership site. You can check that out. I'm sure. I'll, oh, yeah, so I'll, I'll link leave, it in I'll the leave description. A link in the description, which will give you circuits, sets, reps, specifics in beginner to learning that tuck-tuck planche and something that you can follow and do weekly. But you know, this is an insight, the key exercises, the key um, components, particularly the core. I'm, I know I've emphasized it so much and Tyson has, the core is key. And it has to be, guys. Get those abs. You've got to get that core. And, and as well, the core, when you, when you say the core, everyone just thinks abs, abdominals, you know, sh uh, shredded, you know, six pack, but the core is the full chain. You know, the full chain from your neck to your hips, front and back and, and developing that 100% is, is very, very important. Yeah, and if you enjoyed the taster that we gave you today, these planche tips, there's plenty more of that. It goes more in depth. There's more variety over at Niall's Body Bible. I'll put a link in the description and there's heaps of other awesome content from an elite gymnast and an Olympian over at Niall's channel. So check that out as well.